so we'll just break in here and uh, we can... Why is there cobbles? Is there lava? I can't hear lava. I can't hear lava. What's... What is going on? What is this? I... What? What? Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World as we fly in to our little port area where we have our boats that we built last episode and our giant merchant's house. It's looking pretty cool and I've managed to do a little bit of work around here just to tidy things up, get some of the light hidden a little bit, although we, we seem to be getting quite a lot of flare from those. Uh, still not done any work inside. Uh, but I have done a little bit of the pathway and I've also done a little entrance into the kelp farm that we built on the last episode. Uh, we've got this little little sort of tunnel area and just here we have a little entrance and our kelp farm is hidden down below. So go and check that out from the previous episode if you haven't watched it already and obviously if, uh, if you've been liking this content, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. It really does help. Uh, but today we've got some major plans over here as uh, I sort of, sort of made it over here in one piece. Uh, today we are going to be building this, which uh, is going to be our lighthouse. So we've got a medieval lighthouse going up here on the far corner of our port. Uh, also our entrance to the riverway where we'll have a watchtower at some point that's not going to be on today's plan that is very much building our lighthouse here uh, and getting all the foundations in and then we'll be heading over to our mining area where we will be putting in our mining item sorter so we'll sort out all of the ores and that sort of thing and I've decided I'm going to upgrade this well we're going to go up to 1.17 uh, but once uh, the part two comes out later on this year we're going to trim the world and so from that mine onwards we will very much be getting the the new ores and new generation underground so that will be pretty cool so a bit of preparation very much thinking ahead anyway we need to crack on with this build so uh, it's going to be a, kind of a cool design quite tall uh, gonna get that in and I've got my supplies here uh, so I think what we'll do is uh, let, let's sort of build a rough foundation and then we can talk about how we're gonna do this okay so I've now got the base in for our lighthouse uh, we've come up five blocks from the bottom and I've actually taken out uh, one of these arches here so we've got this full diameter uh, or full circumference of our tower so what we're going to do is on these edges we're going to go up seven blocks more um, and then at the top there we'll bring it in and then go up a further 15 maybe I'll, I'll see how it goes so uh, let me get that in and then we'll start doing some decorations on it as well So we've got the stone frame of our lighthouse in and what we need to do now is put in some of the wooden structures for this, uh, get it looking a bit more supported as it's quite a, a tall slim tower at this stage. Um, but yeah, so uh, I've got some blocks, let's, let's jump into that and get that all put in, uh, probably about halfway up, maybe a bit further, but yeah, let's go. Don't you look at that glorious lighthouse that we have oh my word it looks fantastic and I've uh, already gone in and I've put in some of this mossy stone where it's being battered by the weather and uh, I've also put in some 
bits where the wall's falling away and the uh, fences are, are crumbling because it's being attacked by the weather. This is, uh, I, I've really enjoyed building this tower. It's, it's obviously different to our watchtowers over there. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, it's really cool. Cool to have it on the, the edge of the water like this and to, to blend it in. And uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've also done the inside so we can actually get up through the middle all the way to the top. So uh, down here, we've just got a little storage room not all the way up. And then here we can look out. Uh, this is about midway up where we've got some little balconies, I guess. Uh, we can look out in all directions. And then down here we can look out to see looking good. And then up the top here we have uh, a beacon, a light for our ships. Uh, we can also look out over here, so that is really cool. And let's uh, let's go have a fly and see if we can see this at this height rather than looking from below. There we go. Wow. Yeah, I love this sort of crown. I guess we've we've put on the top here. Um, wasn't sure what how I was going to do this. I thought initially I was going to have the fire down there. And I just went with it. I really like it. I like how we've used the fence posts, fence posts here um, and the fires going constantly. So uh, I think this is uh, this has turned out much better than I had anticipated. Uh, well, yeah, I, I always hoped it looked good. And I actually used the coral blocks, the dead coral blocks for once. First time uh, using those in a build. And I think it just, it's nice as a little impact, uh, impact block on this whole build. So yeah, cool. So our other main job for today is to get into our mine and start sorting out a sorting system for our new mine. Uh, so we'll just break in here and uh, we can... Why is there cobbles? Is there lava? I can't hear lava. I can't hear lava. What is what is going on? What is this? Hang What? What? I don't know if you can see this. So let, let me get a light onto the hot bar. What is going on? Uh, let's, let's put some light down. What is in? It's been a cave in. It must have. Someone must have blocked this up at some point because there's there's definitely been a cave in. But this is this is crazy. Let's uh let's keep some lights going. Make sure uh we don't come across any nasty surprise. There's, there's minecart tracks already. Like what is going on in here? Whoa, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. No freaking way. Oh, oh, oh. It's inhabited. It's already inhabited. Where are you? Come on. Wow. Uh, okay, so there's like already a mine system here. This isn't. This isn't naturally generated, surely. Is this new? Did I not know about it? Okay. Wow. Let's uh let's go see what we've got down here. Okay. This looks like this being in use for some time. Put one there. Uh, yeah. Whoa. It's quite a deep mine. Well, this is oh <laughs> it's just a bat just a bat wow okay someone's clearly been mining down here previously oh what's this just just a cave wow oh okay so we're into a, a mine shaft system wow okay this is well, th this helps quite a lot. This this really does. Like, we don't need to do any of this. We can maybe repurpose it. Well, not even repurpose it. Just use it for our mines. 
Uh, okay, so, oh, fresh, fresh slimy water. That's cool. All right, let's, uh, let's get a sorting system in and then, uh, this will be good to go, maybe. Awesome. Well, that was a, a turn up for the books. We've already got a mine system here. Let's, uh, let's go get the sorting system. I think, uh, looks like there's probably some space over here for that um yeah cool I'll, I'll clear up this debris as well well we'll see you in a moment so i've cleared out the rock fall here in front of our entrance so we could get a straight shot and i've i've double checked the lighting and then over here i've i've, I've dumped all my uh boxes and i've started laying out our uh sorting system and one of the things I did not comprehend is just quite how many blocks there are going to be uh, moving forward from mining. Uh, so I've put in 13 ch double chests here and we'll probably stack them three high I reckon um, and we'll probably double up I think on the stone um, but what we're going to have is probably we'll go dirt, gravel, cobble, stone, andesite, diorite, granite uh, and then we start getting into some of the new blocks such as calcite, uh, smooth basalt, uh, deep slate, some sort of cobble deep slate, deep slate, tuft, and then we'll have all the ores as well. So uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of blocks now. There's so many blocks in this game. Uh, so yeah, uh, our storage is going to be pretty big i think i'm going to put one more chest on top and one below and then run the the system behind so we've got this track that comes up from our, our shaft here uh, which goes quite deep so we'll get it coming in and then i reckon we'll have it sweep around the back here up into a uh, emptying system at the back here and then all of those blocks will go into the, these chests, uh, get sorted out. Uh, the ones on the end, the two on the end, which will have ores, will allow any blocks to go in it. So we'll we'll have to have to sort of sort through whatever we find. But yeah, I think that's probably what we're gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump ahead because I think we'll be running a little short on uh, video uh, this time. Um, so let's let's get that in and then i'll show you how it's looking once it's done so here is our sorting system all done we've got 15 stacks or verticals of chests uh, so we can sort out most of the blocks and then these blank ones here are for the new 1.17 blocks coming in part one and two and then these ones here are all the leftovers so that will mainly be the ores copper uh, and any of the other new blocks and any other block that we may find down in the mines. Uh, I think that should be more than enough. And then we've got our minecart system that comes all the way up here uh, into the back. So the cart actually goes up there, but we have a little access behind our item sorter. There we go. Uh, so very much a impulse SV sorting system. And then we've got the minecart unloader here. So uh, just reads the items, or if there's items in the hopper, uh, it will then, this will get powered and then it will turn off the redstone torch and depower uh, the repeater, allowing the minecart to sit there until it's fully unloaded. And then once there's no more items in the hopper, it will send the minecart back down into our mine shaft so yeah the uh the mine cart will come back along here all the way down into the shaft actually let's let's push this one down there we go and then if we come over here we'll see it heading all the way round and around hopefully wow that was that, that was quicker than i was expecting uh so yeah that's that's looking pretty cool I'm, I'm really excited and really happy with uh with this it it looks awesome really cool uh so yeah that that is our mine mine entrance and sorting system done ready for 1.17 and part one and two uh, but we'll need to get down there and do a hell of a lot of work to be using that and uh yeah that is gonna be 
it for today's episode. Uh, let's take off our helmet. Uh, we've got such a wonderful world here. We. Um, but the next episode is the big 5-0. Number 50. We'll be doing something very different. I've got a really cool plan for it. And uh, really should have done it by now, to be honest. But that will be in the next episode. Won't be a world tour, no. So if that's what you're thinking, it's not going to be a world tour. But make sure you check out the next episode uh, and you'll find out what we're doing. Well, that's it from me. We'll see you next time. Bye.